It's many people brave the busy roadways driving them daily, but how safe does the average person feel on the road with 18 wheelers? Tonight we're digging deeper into some federally mandated regulations for these large trucks compared to regulations in other countries. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin takes a closer look tonight, particularly as it relates to the growing number of underride deaths. Jerry. Well, Kim and Calvin, many of us are aware of the dangers while driving on the highway. Today, I'm digging deeper, comparing our current trucking regulations to other countries countries. And we will plan to try and have this story in just a second. Today's cars and 18 wheelers have no problem sharing the interstate. But not always. Last month, the white minivan slammed directly into the back of a tractor trailer on I-24 near the Rossville Boulevard exit. It's not clear what caused 50-year-old Roger Sutton of Trenton to miss the big truck in front of him. The Sutton family believes he had a medical emergency and passed away before the impact. Still, images show what can happen when a car or van runs up under a tractor trailer. I try to stay away from them as much as possible. I either let them pass me or I will pass them. Mary Ayers did not know Sutton, but her van looks a lot like the one he was driving. She is familiar with this kind of wreck. In the past, I've seen cars go under from the back of the truck, but a lot of them have that bar that is uh, on the back side of the truck. So that does help. In fact, this kind of crash is so common, truckers, attorneys, and others have a name for them, underride. The insurance industry estimates underride crashes claim more than 400 lives each year and results in more than 5,000 injuries. And to put things in perspective for you, the height of this tractor trailer is about 41 inches. And the height of Rosie's head here sitting in the front seat measures about the same. And as a safety professional, I'd love to see a way to stop a car from going underneath a trailer. Doug Cook is the VP of safety at Covenant Transport in Chattanooga. You might think a trucking industry executive would oppose stronger government regulations, but that is not the case. It would be very nice to see. Right now, we do, we're not really regulated as to, and scientifically here in the states, technology is it to the point to give us a practical underride uh, block or mechanism to prevent a car from going underneath. So that's where we go with the visibility. Regulation does require reflective tape, special lights for visibility, and these metal frames called DOT bumpers. They may not stop a car, but they can absorb some of the force. In a hard crash, the DOT bumper will collapse, just like this one did when Sutton ran his minivan into it. The rules can be made safer. The manufacturers can manufacture safer trailers. The technology has been in existence for decades. They're just choosing not to. Chattanooga attorney Morgan Adams handles a lot of underwrite cases for families. In Europe, the bumpers are stronger. They are um, uh, much more effective in preventing underrides, both side and rear underrides. Now, Kim and Calvin, ultimately, it's up to each of us as drivers to avoid underride crashes. Now, Attorney Adams agrees that drivers have to treat big trucks with care and give them as much space as possible. Now, a new federally commissioned study of underride came out in March of this year. To read more about that and this story, head over to NewsChannel9.com. Calvin. Okay, thanks, Jerry.